So Hunter Biden is back in the news. Um, normally, I don't like these stories about Hunter because I feel like people are terrible at separating out what's important and serious versus what's not. When it comes to his personal struggles, his private struggles, addiction, his sex life, I don't want I, I don't want to have anything to do with it. I don't really want to talk about it because it's none of my business and everybody's got struggles, right? So I think the right has done a terrible job at sort of separating out what's real and substantive versus what it makes you just a petty weasel trying to get in somebody's private life. Um, but there are plenty of things there that are serious and are real and aren't, you know, petty personal drama related. Um, one of those things, as we've talked about on the show, is corruption. You know, I don't care what anybody says. It is very obvious to me that the reason why a Ukrainian energy company hired him and threw money at his face is simply because they wanted access to Joe Biden and they wanted to be able to get what they want policy-wise from Joe Biden. And um, if you don't see that, I think you're sort of being dense on purpose. Like, you're being obtuse. Like, you don't understand that this is the way politics works. You don't understand that that was an attempt to gain favor with what was the vice president. You don't understand that? I think you do understand that. I think almost everybody understands that. And if they say they don't, it's just because they're, you know, they're being very partisan and playing for their team and they can't admit fault in anything on their side. So anyway, um, well, now... We have a new story from Hunter that blew up. It involves him becoming an artist and selling his artwork. Take a look at this. Walter Schaub is the former head of the Office of Government Ethics under President Obama. Uh, Walter, thanks for being with us. So some of those safeguards uh, put in place are neither Hunter Biden nor the public will know who bid on or purchased the work. And if there's unusual behavior like the offer being too high, the collector doesn't appear to be interested, the gallery is expected to turn down the offer. You don't think that's enough. Why? No, I mean, they have outsourced government ethics to an art dealer. She mentioned industry standards. It's an industry that's notorious for money laundering. There's no standards in that industry. And the idea that they're going to flag any overly priced offers, well, this is art that hasn't even been juried into a community art sale. How is How are they going to decide what's unreasonable when they've already priced it in the range of 75000 to 500000 for a first outing. This is just preposterous and very disappointing. I mean, that's an Obama ethics official there. And this is what the Obama official is saying. Yes, so the real story here is not that Hunter Biden is an artist. Uh, the real story is he's an artist and his pieces are going for up to $500,000. Now, if somebody is an artist and, you know, they're involved with the business side of it, you don't just come out of nowhere and, like, immediately start making up to 500 grand per piece. The reason why he's getting that much money is because he's the son of the president. And this is an attempt. Whether or not it would actually work, I find largely irrelevant, to be honest. But there is clearly an attempt here where some of the people buying some of the art are gonna only do it because, again, they're trying to get a line to the president. They're trying to get some sort of favoritism from the Biden administration. And Biden and the White House felt the need to come out there and say, no, 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 it's okay, that's not gonna happen because we're putting safeguards in place. I mean, listen, all I'll say is this. Think of if, if the Trump kids did this, how would you feel about it? I would say the exact same thing I'm saying now with Hunter. I would say... I think it's bullshit. I think making $75,000 to $500,000 per piece of artwork, there's more that's going on here than just, you know, gosh golly, here's a guy who's just been a struggling artist for so long and he loves it. And, oh, would you look at that? Finally, his stuff is taking off solely based on merit. I don't think that's the case. I think it would be corrupt under the Trump administration. I think it's corrupt under the Biden administration. I think it would be corrupt if it was George W. Bush or Barack Obama, even though obviously his daughters were too young at the time. But, um... If it was Hillary Clinton and, you know, Chelsea Clinton, I would say the exact same thing. I think that there's more going on here than what meets the eye. It's not just like, he's an artist and he finally made it. No, it's Hunter wants money, he's trying to find a way to get it, and so now this is the thing he's come up with to get it, but also whoever would partake in this, whether or not it will work is irrelevant, but some people are going to try to use this to get a line to the president and to get some sort of favors from him. 
again, is Biden going to act on that? Is Biden going to, you know, actually listen and return the favors or whatever? I don't know. I don't know. But honestly, I don't really care because this shouldn't be happening in the first place. This should be nipped in the bud up front. And it just goes to show you how lax the rules and regulations are around corruption in this country and around bribery. And as long as you have some sort of veneer of seriousness, you know, then everybody just sort of lulls themselves to sleep and acts like there's nothing wrong with this and it's okay. It's definitely not okay. It's definitely not okay. And again, this is, stop and think about it. If some, you know, developing nation dictator was doing this and their son or daughter was an artist and they would get preposterous amounts of money for their artwork, how would we look at that? How would we talk about that? I think everybody would see it for what it is which is sort of like a sleazy pay-to-play scheme. Now, by the way, I went and I looked at uh, some of his art. How would I talk about it? I'm not an art expert, uh, you know, but art is very subjective. In my opinion, it's neither good nor bad. Do I think his art is just bad? Not really. I mean, I think it's okay, you know, but um, is it worth $75,000 to $500,000 a pop? Not if his name wasn't Hunter Biden, it wouldn't be. And I think that's so obvious. So that's the real problem with this. Don't let anybody try to tell you otherwise, because they're lying if they say otherwise. And um, again, this is the problem with partisan tribal politics is that, you know, if it was the Trump kids, the Trump people would say there's nothing wrong with it and, and you're wrong. If it's the Biden kid, then, you know, the a lot of Democrats are going to say you're wrong and there's nothing wrong with this. I disagree. Stuff like this shouldn't happen. It's, you know, it's what I would say is like a soft version of corruption, along with a thousand other things that are soft versions of corruption. And um, this is one of the reasons why government is where it is, is because there's so much that goes on, which they don't think twice about. But really, this stuff is deeply unethical. You know, I mean, we can go on and on here, but there's a story that just came out about Nancy Pelosi's husband buying a tremendous amount of money in stock in a certain stock. And then Pelosi and Congress taking action that boosted that stock. We saw this happen with a Republican, uh, either congressperson or senator, I don't remember um, what his name was. Was it Price? Something Price? He um, he was directly involved in some medical company and he like bought the stock and then took an action that made the stock skyrocket. I mean, I would even go further. Forget this art conversation here. I would go further. I would say you, you shouldn't be allowed to actively invest if you're in Congress or if you're in the Senate, if you're a U.S. politician. Because, I mean, obviously they're, they're doing things that are either clearly illegal or legal, but shouldn't be legal. You know what I mean? Um, and it really is a different set of rules. If you're wealthy, if you're powerful, it's a completely different set of rules. And they get away with everything. And as long as they have, like, that just touch of plausible deniability, then everybody plays stupid on purpose. And everybody in the media acts like, well, to be fair, they did a decent job in this segment. But a lot of people in the media act like, I don't, I don't see what the issue is. You should know what the issue is. Everybody should know what the issue is. Uh, I don't think this is okay. And um, I see through it, man. That's all I can say is I see through it.